Hi, I'm Anita, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own almond milk from scratch. It's a great way to have a better quality almond milk without any additives and also save a little bit of money. So you're going to take three cups of almonds, which I have measured here, and these are raw almonds. And then you're just going to cover them with filtered water and leave it there overnight. And I already have some here that I've been soaking from yesterday. These ones are ready to go. You're just gonna take a clean kitchen towel and you're gonna put some of the almonds on one side of the kitchen towel. You don't wanna do them all at once because it'll be more difficult to get the skins off. So you can do a few batches, just get them in there and you're gonna roll them up, kind of like you're rolling up a burrito. And then once you have them in there, you're just gonna rub them inside the kitchen towel like this. that the skins have started coming off of them. Take the ones that are clean and just kind of pick them out and throw them in a bowl. And we're just gonna keep doing this until all of the almonds are peeled. So now we have our nice peeled almonds with no skin. I'm just gonna give them a quick rinse. The skin is actually really nutritious. I'm just doing this for cosmetic reasons so the milk will come out nice and creamy and white. So this is half of the almonds. This is enough to make one quart of very rich creamy almond milk. We're gonna transfer it to a blender. And then we're gonna add a pinch of salt. I use sea salt. Even if you do not like sweetened almond milk, it's nice to have a little touch of sweetness. I like to use bee-free honey. That's my favorite sweetener. It's actually a vegan honey made of apples. I put it in my own container here. Um, it usually comes in a squeezy bottle, but any kind of sweetener you want to use will work. Agave, maple syrup, sugar, whatever works for you or that you have in your kitchen. So I like to add about one tablespoon per quart of milk. You can always adjust at the end too. It's a very forgiving recipe. And then you're just gonna top it off with about three cups of water. You can always add more. Can't take it away though, so you don't wanna put too much. We'll start there. You want to let it go until it's nice and creamy. You don't want it to go so far that it's starting to get warm. Wow, that's really good. It's actually super rich and super creamy, which is great. But for economy's sake, I'm going to add a little more water. Just to thin it out a little bit. I'll stretch it. We use this in everything in my household. We put it in tea and coffee and recipes. Um, so I know we're gonna go through this pretty quick. All right. I love the way it gets all frothy on the top. So my trick for the express way to make almond milk is that I run it through my juicer. I figure that if you're the kind of person who has the patience to make almond milk from scratch, then you probably also have a juicer and have the patience to make your own juice. If you don't have a juicer, you can make this by straining it through a cheesecloth or a fine mesh sieve, but you can't beat this. It's the quickest way you'll have almond milk right away that you can drink, so let's go. Right. Here you have it. <laughs> Fresh made, ready to drink, perfectly pure, super creamy almond milk. Even though we ran it through the juicer once, it's still going to have a few little bits. I don't mind them if you're the kind of person who has to have it super creamy and without any little pieces. Um, you can run it through twice, but this is good enough for me. This is amazing. I love it.
So, um, one thing I want to add is here we have all the pulp that we caught from going inside the juice. This stuff is amazing. Please do not throw this away. Look at this. This is pure ground almond meal. You can dehydrate it and make almond flour. You can take this and mix it with um, chocolate and a few other ingredients and make a flourless gluten-free cake. You could sprinkle it on a salad for a little extra fiber. You could culture it and make almond cheese. There's so many amazing things you can do with this. Please do not throw it away. All right, so of course, you can just drink this delicious almond milk straight. But there's so many great uses for it. I just made this nice, frothy, hot cocoa. You don't even have to add anything. Look at how much this milk froths up. This was just from whisking it in the pan. I also used it in my recipe for vegan pumpkin muffins. So the uses are endless. What I like to do is with those three cups of almonds, you can make two quarts of that milk. What I like to do is put one in the fridge and one in the freezer. In the fridge, it'll last up to a week. And then when you're finished with it, you just grab the one out of the freezer, let it defrost, and it's ready to go. Thank you so much for trying. I hope you like it.